Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is a game rated M by the ESRB. I've been watching this bird fly in a circle for several minutes now. It never lands. It just perpetually flies in a circle. Presumably it's been flying in a circle since time began. And it will be here when the world rots away. Poor little mystical hawk thing. By the way, hello everyone! And, uh, I guess kind of welcome back to a new episode of Stephen Plays Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Kind of. We have beat Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Uh, we just recently finished the game. If you have not seen that finale episode, you can go check it out. Uh, the game is 100% done. However, there was some DLC created for the game, and I promised at the beginning of the series I would cover it. And I've waited until the end of the series, per your recommendations, to cover it. So we are covering the Da Vinci Disappearance today. Now, before we get too far, I want to say a quick thank you to our patrons over at Patreon.com. Uh, thank you so much. We really do appreciate your support. The names of the producers are scrolling up on the screen now. If you're watching and you don't know anything about it and you'd like to learn more about how to support Mao and myself over on Patreon.com and all of the perks that come with that, please check out the description below. There is a link or possibly with this new YouTube fangled cards thing, there might be something on your screen now. Okay, so the Da Vinci Disappearance. Now, we did finish uh, Brotherhood, and we did pretty much all there was to do in Brotherhood. If we take a look at the map, uh, it'll be pretty empty. Uh, I know that some people are pointing out things like uh, this, which is a building, or this, which is the, the headquarters, but that's not actually stuff we can do. Um, it does seem... What is this? Templar Lair. That's new. Maybe maybe the DLC adds a lair? Because that was not there before. That's interesting. Okay, so it looks like we have some stuff to do. Uh, what I'm interested in going to check out is this Restored Memory. That is where the DLC actually begins. Um, da Vinci is gone. Where he has gone to, I don't know. Oh my god. You know, I thought that it would always have a... Um... A bale of hay underneath those, but apparently not. Um, that was the wrong way. <laughs> wrong way of thinking about that. There can also be water. Uh, some things that are a little different about this series. Uh, for one, it's taking place after the fact, right? Chron chronology is a good thing. But also, um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was the last series, hopefully, uh, to be recorded with the old audio hardware. Uh, there's been a lot of other series that have started since then to have used the new mics. Uh, but Assassin's Creed was the last one to use it because it had started so long ago. Uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood went for like five months or something like that. So the DLC is using the new audio hardware. Hopefully I sound better. Or or, or maybe I sound weird. I don't know. Um, if I sound weird, you should listen to some of the other stuff on the channel and not just watch Assassin's Creed all the time. All right, we're going to make our way across the city and start whatever this DLC is and uh, figure out where the heck Da Vinci has gone. Da Vinci, where are you? Okay, there. I mean, you're not probably there, but this is where it begins. Oh, so, okay, something weird's happening. It's you. I must be getting lazy in my old age. I did not know you had returned to Roma. What's happening? Ezio seems to be remembering something. Something from 1506. Desmond's heart rate is increasing. I'm administering a sedative. No. The missing data may be there. The piece of Eden is useless until we have it. Let him continue. Yes, William. What was that? I'm sorry. That was that was weird to me because okay, so you can play the DLC during the game. No penalty for that. Um and I'm assuming that if you were, that Sean and Lucy and, um... God, the other girl's name is escaping me, would be speaking. But they're not. Oh my god, is it... Is that like a spoiler Salim, for the next game? Is that you? It's you. I must be getting lazy in my old age. I did not know you had returned to Roma. Unfortunately, I cannot stay. I'm here to charter a ship. Let me assist you. I know a captain. He's very discreet. Hang on, I have the name recorded somewhere. What are you working on? 
Oh, this? A hobby of mine. Of course you are familiar with Pythagoras. Remind me. The brilliant scholar from Grecia who discovered many secrets about the heavenly spheres and our cosmos. These symbols come from him? Ever since my exploration of that strange apple, they have been stamped on my mind. I found symbols like them in the writings of the Pythagorean disciples. I am afraid the captain's name escapes me. The apple has been put to rest. Perhaps it would do you good to focus on painting. You seem to be doing decent work on this one. Ha! <laughs> you are kind. However, even I can see that she is badly drawn. And that smile, overdone, meaningless. But forget painting. I made a breakthrough in my research several days ago. A huge discovery. Salai! Can you bring them? Oh, he's not back. I intended to accompany you to the docks, but we cannot leave my workshop without my assistant. Bene. An easy task. I am afraid you underestimate Salai. Hm. Wait and see. Suit yourself. You will likely find him at La Volpe Adormentata. Hmm. Also, it was, it was a nice little touch to throw in the Mona Lisa there. That was funny. A roll of the dice. Find Leonardo's assistant, Salai, at the Thieves' Guild and bring him back to the Le to Leonardo's workshop for full synchronization. Do not drop below four health squares. Now, there will probably be a few people quick to point out that this is not the only DLC available for Brotherhood, and you would be correct. There was another DLC um, called the Copernicus Conspiracy, I believe. Um, here's the problem. That was only on PS3. Yep, it is exclusive. And it never came out for anything else, and it's dumb. I do not know why they did that, uh, but they did. So, we will not be playing that one. Now, here's the good news. Uh, from what I can gather online, it seems like... And this seems kind of weird, but the Copernicus Conspiracy isn't, like, a real DLC. It is. It is. It's definitely DLC, but it was, it was free with the PlayStation version, from what I can understand. This, however, um, the Da Vinci Disappearance is kind of like the true DLC, in big air quotes. Uh, the one that they do make you pay for and is available on both sides. So, yeah, I'm assuming that skipping Copernicus Conspiracy, we won't be missing much. Di nuovo! I told you those dice were lucky. Fortuna wishes you were as good as me. Gian Giacomo. I do not answer to that name. Salai. Better, but not good enough. Yes! Di nuovo! Leonardo, your master requests your presence. Let him wait. No. Nice hood. Are you one of Julius's monks? My church is not of God. Outside the kingdom of God is the realm of men. You worship there, Messere? Come with me and find out. It has been fun, but I must go. Please, do not depart. The game is not finished. Sorry, but a better offer has arisen. Lead on, Messere. Man, that's a brave kid. I'd be scared of Ezio. The three men from the dice game follow us. Stay quiet. Why? Sentite! I am done playing! So are we! Oh, snap! Kill them! <laughs> He's like, uh, another day. Oh, God. wait, I thought there were three! Jesus! Okay, hold on. And a one, and a two, and a da da na 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 da na 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 da na 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 do 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 oh, sorry, there's some over here. Oh, wouldn't it be fun if I I still had a chance to beat my combo? I think my com my my best kill streak was eight. Oh come on, you weren't close enough to hit. Where's my sword? Ugh! Yeah! Yeah! Kick! Well, you're just dodgy today, aren't you, pal? Sucks for you. Oh, come on. I killed that guy, so the next one should be an insta kit. Listen, you're gonna be up against stuff that you... <laughs> fine. Fine. Hit me. I'll let you hit me. I'm gonna get you, Ezio! Oh, God, I'm dead. Anyone left? Okay, one kid. One guy. Not kid. The kid's the one I want to save. Can I kick you? I can't even kick you. 
Hold on. Let's see. I think... Probably have... Yeah, I'll just do this. Did he say leave me alone as he died? That was probably someone else. There is only one man in Roma who can put on a show like that. You must be Ezio Auditore. Come. We need to return to Leonardo right away. You do not talk much, do you? Fine. I will run ahead. You catch up. That sounded like a challenge, but I guess not. Salai! Uh, date of birth, 1480. Profession, apprentice. A professional apprentice. Gian Giacomo Caprati da Areno, try saying that three times fast, was apprenticed to Leonardo da Vinci at the ripe young age of ten. As evidenced by Leonardo's notes, the two hit it off almost immediately. The second day I had two shirts cut out for him, a pair of hose and a jerkin, and when I put aside some money to pay for these things, he stole the money out of the purse, and I could never make him confess, although I was quite certain of it. The day after I went to sup with Giacomo, Giacomo Andrea, and this and the said Gian Giacomo supped for two and did mischief for four, for he broke three cruets and spilled the wine. Leonardo may have described the, his apprentice as a thief, liar, obstinate glutton, and bestowed him with the nickname Salai, a little devil from the romantic epic Morgante, but at the same time the two were devoted to each other until the master's death. Leonardo helped Salai with his painting compositions, frequently bailed him out of prison, and left half his vineyard to, to Salai. Uh, when he died, the apprentice even got to keep the Mona Lisa. Either this was true love, or Salai had one hell of a sugar daddy. Alright. Oh, and also, the Hermeticists. Which is new. It's a new one. The Renaissance Hermeticists were a secretive lot, hiding their beliefs and practices from the church. Their texts originated in 2nd century Greece, dealing with issues such as alchemy and the proper relationship between man, the gods, and the earth. In 1460, the texts were introduced to the Western world when they arrived in Pistoia. Uh, a translation into Latin was made by the flamboyant Florentine uh, Marsilio Ficino and spread throughout Italy. The re this revival of hermetical beliefs focused on a heretical lack of hierarchy. That man contained the universe just as God did, meaning each part of the universe was also a representation of the whole. Man, therefore, could be seen as the center of the universe. Hermeticism was driven underground, for if man could contain God, then what role was there for the church? Benevolent caretaker of Choir practice spaces, apparently, was not seen as an appealing alternative. Okay, so... There's a new bad guy in town. A new group of bad guys. Now, part of me wonders... Of course, I haven't played the DLC, so I don't know. Like, if, if you don't kill the guys off or something in the DLC, I wonder if they would just appear throughout the game, which would be neat. That I don't know. Uh, either way, we're really far away, so I'm going to speed this up and jump straight to when we get to the next checkpoint. Okay, so on the way there, I, um, I made some friends, um, those, those guys, the her Hermeticists, like, just started appearing and chasing me. I got away, but that's a bit problematic. These strangers do not quit. Disciples wearing similar robes appeared once before. They sought an object I had in my possession. You mean the piece of Eden? Leonardo told you. Tells me everything. I fear his indiscretion has cost us greatly. We must warn him. Say no more. I know the best route home. I take it every morning after the taverns close. Follow me. Taking bricks and marble from all the I like this kid. He's got a lot of spunk. So I'm gonna follow him to the workshop and trust that he will not lead me astray. He also didn't fear Ezio. And like I said earlier, if I... <laughs> I don't think I would talk down to Ezio, man. He's a scary looking dude. I'm going around. Okay. Oh, there was a guy down there. Okay, these these people are all like, why are why are we here? That's right, shove them. Give them a good shove. How about some fun on the rooftops? Leonardo told me that he had discovered something important. He has been exploring a hidden catacomb for years now. I think he came to Roma to find it. You have no idea what he is like. He works on this all the time. He never takes me out. And he's so cheap. I have to beg him for money. He actually gives coins to you? More or less. What he does not know will not hurt him. Allora, you're from Firenze. Tell me more. Fine. 
I will use my imagination. <laughs> yeah, you can fill in all the all the plot details yourself, kid. I don't have time to give you my my entire life story. Those guys are creepy, man. Too early in the day for fighting. Follow me. I'm behind you. Have all of these convenient ladders placed everywhere throughout the city, so discovered something in the catacombs. He found the entrance to a temple. Something he read about in his books. I've not seen him that excited in years. Did he say anything else? That the temple contains the perfect number. Something discovered by some scholar from Grecia. Pythagoras. Attack! Get them! Oh, that guy, yeah. Hold on. Yes. Let me just... I'll just... I'll take care of that for you. Oh, yeah! Son, you got stabbed dead. Stabbed dead for you, too. You want to get back quickly? Avoid their swords. Wow, what what great advice. No, Thank you, Salai. I suppose he spoke of his discovery to whomever would listen. Did you notice any robbed men around him? Why would I spend my time at the workshop when I can go out and have fun? Ask the master himself when we get there. I'm not so sure that this is a great apprentice. I mean, history has spoken. I mean, he is Leonardo's apprentice. It just doesn't sound like he's a great one. Thank you for cushioning my fall, sir. You will be rewarded in heaven. Excuse me. Whoa. I like how the game pauses it so I can't move, but it did it once I was, like, out in the open. Oopsie. Squeeze through here. Please never play me a song. The game won't let me gentle push you, but I will gentle punch you. You gotta be nearly back by now, right? Now my book, man. Actually, um, I'm really glad that it warped us straight to the Thieves Guild. That was nice of the game. I didn't have to do that. Also, oh crap. Maestro! They took him. No, he must be here. The temple he discovered. Where is it? Leonardo! Salai, if you want to save him, tell me where the temple is. I do not know. Cazzo! That's you. Something is written on the floor. What does it say? I cannot read. Leonardo promised to teach me, but now... Villa. Paintings. He wants us to examine art. I remember when Leonardo lived at your villa, he was researching the location of the catacombs. Several of his paintings hung in the gallery there. What do they have to do with the temple? Perhaps the pages of his research are hidden in one of the frames. The paintings are gone. They all burned in the attack. No, they did not. Only Leda and St. John, the Borgia, took the rest. Six paintings. Five. I told the art merchant that Portrait of a Lady was by Leonardo. I needed the money for a doublet. Of course, now it has gone out of fashion. Who has the paintings now? Lucrezia Borgia, in her husband's palazzo outside Ferrara. Then it is time I took back what was stolen. Interesting. So, now we have an objective. Uh, the point of the DLC, at least early on, is going to be recovering the paintings. And once we recover the paintings, we will know exactly where this hidden cave is. And hopefully we'll find Leonardo before it's too late. I see. That's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Stephen Plays Assassin's Creed Brotherhood to downloadable content. Doesn't really have the same ring to it, does it? Give it to me. Guards! Place Da Vinci's Annunciation in a cart. Leave it outside the walls. Modo bene. Now, close your eyes. My husband will soon arrive with his guards, so it is best if you... hurry.